What is up guys, Sly Spy Gaming back again with another Elden Ring mod video. In this video I'll be teaching you how to install and use Elden Mod Loader, created by mod author Techie W. This is one of the best mods to get you started in your modding journey through Elden Ring, as it will help with tons of other miscellaneous mods you'll want to use in the future. If this video does help you guys out, make sure that you smash that like and subscribe button, as I'll be making more mod videos in the future. So, to start off, this will be a long video, and if you want to or need to skip ahead, feel free to head down to those timestamps below and get to the section that you need. However, be forewarned that most of this should not be skipped. There are quite a lot of steps that are required when modding, so I recommend watching through and not skipping. I try to be thorough, especially when making mod videos, as any mistakes can cause issues down the road, which leads me to my first step, which is a clean install and creating a save backup. So for starters, I highly, highly recommend a completely clean install of Elden Ring, to ensure that the game is mod free. I recommend doing this just in case you have dabbled a little bit with mods as it is a good starting point for anyone new or just learning about how to mod in Elden Ring. Also again just to reiterate and because you should do this not only with Elden Ring modding but with any other game that you ever decide to mod, always back up your save when modding. In any of my modding videos, I always tell players to back up their save. You will most likely find your specific save game data in this location here. Now let's move on to step two, which is toggling Easy Anti-Cheat. So to make the Elden Mod Loader work, you have to make sure that you disable Easy Anti-Cheat. Without this, you will not be able to play with any mods, so do not forget or skip this step. I have linked the mod in the description below that I use, which again is by TechieW, bless his soul. I'll not be going over how to download or install it in this video, but I have made a video of this before and have linked that video in the description below as well. In that video I don't only teach you how to toggle Easy Anti-Cheat, but I also show you how to fix any stutter that you might be experiencing. Once you've completed this step, we'll now move on to step 3 which is downloading and installing Elden Mod Loader. So I'm sure for some of you who have dabbled in modding or no modding pretty well, you've probably seen this on Nexus Mod's most popular page. This is for a very good reason, but for those of you who don't know what this mod does, it is pretty incredible and TechieW has done some awesome work over on Nexus with Elden Ring mods. I highly recommend taking a look at some of his other stuff and giving him an endorsement. FYI, if you have skipped ahead in the video, you need to make sure that you've completed step 2, which is disabling Easy Anti-Cheat for this mod to work. But for those of you who don't know what Elden Mod Loader does, it takes any .dll files found in the mods folder and loads them into Elden Ring automatically. For instance, popular mods such as Disable Rune Loss on Death, Pause the Game, and Fix the Camera all have .dll files that can be used with this mod. It is also an extremely helpful mod if you're trying to use the Seamless Co-op mod, which is slowly becoming one of the more popular Elden Ring mods to date. To download this mod, head on over to the link in the description below. This will take you directly to the files page on Nexus. Go down here to Manual Download, it will come up with this screen here, and go to Slow Download unless you are that super duper special premium member. So now that the Elden Mod Loader zip file has downloaded, what we're going to want to do is open this up here, and as you can see it just has a couple of files in here. What we're going to want to do is open up our Elden Ring game folder here. You can see this on the left side right here. Take all the files from the Elden Mod Loader zip file and just move them on over into this folder here. Congratulations, you have now downloaded and installed all the contents of Elden Mod Loader. You'll notice that one of the files that you moved over is a folder called Mods. Currently this will be empty, but this is where you'll want to put the .dll files that I told you about earlier into. Once the .dll files have been put in here from the other mods, this will automatically load up those mods when starting the game. For example, I will show off two mods with .dll files that I have found to be extremely useful, which are Pause the Game and Disable Rune Loss on Death. These are pretty self-explanatory mods, one of which will allow you to actually pause the game, and the other will allow you to instantly collect your runes upon death. So here's the first one that I've downloaded. As you can see, again, this is by TechieW, so he's made it pretty easy. It is in a folder called Mods. Uh, 
not. All I have to do in this situation is just move this over and copy to the game folder. Once that's done, you can come in here to mods and you will see that pause the game.dll and the file folder are both in here. This means that when I start up the game, pause the game mod should automatically be in there and I should be able to use it right away. I'll do the same thing here now with disable rune loss on death, which now as you can see is also in here. Now that both of these mods are in here, let's start up Elden Ring and test it out just to make sure that both of these mods are working. Just for future reference, typically when modding, you should really just be doing one at a time, kind of downloading and installing one mod and then testing it afterwards, just to make sure that it's working and just to double check that they aren't conflicting with each other. So as you can see, now I am actually in the game here. Um, we are going to test out the pause the game mod first. So here we go. And look at that, the game is paused, you can tell by the flame not moving. It can be a little bit wonky, but it is extremely helpful in actually making Elden Ring like other games to where you can actually pause it. So next we'll be testing out the Disable Rune Loss on Death mod just to see if it works. This means that I'll have to run over and make sure that I get killed by something. Should do. <laughs> And as you can see, the Disable Rune Loss on Death Mod does work. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And if this video did help you guys out, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. I have a lot of future mod videos planned such as mod tutorials, some mod showcases, and mod builds. So if you are into modding, make sure really that you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all again so much for watching, and until next time, this is Slice by Gaming, signing out.